Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dagny. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. But before we get into this Foxy Charm unboxing, I would just like to say that I hope your family is doing well and um, that everybody's safe and, you know, okay, I heard there's a hurricane happening, there's COVID. I'm over 2020, are you? I so I, I totally am. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this box. I am super pumped. I love getting boxy every month. So this month on the card, it says spa, glamping, sunbathe, yoga, slumber. Very nice. And I got box number 33. I always forget to mention that. And I love these cards. Oh, I guess I should mention, uh, if you don't know what boxy is, it is a monthly beauty subscription, all beauty uh, products or skincare products and I love it um, they do give a card like Ipsy used to tell us uh, our products they do not <laughs> do not any longer and drives me crazy but BoxyCharm does so I get to tell you what the product is worth and how much um, the box comes to they say it's usually about 125 I think and I pay about almost no I think it's like 40 I was gonna say almost 50 but I'm pretty sure it's closer to 40 um, to get it here in Canada and in the States, I believe it's like 25, 30. I'm not positive, don't quote me on that, but I will leave a link um, down below if you are interested. So, when you open the box, it looks like so. I'm already really excited. I see a Morphe brush set. This is a I Got This four piece eye brush collection from Morphe. Very nice. I hear Morphe has um, great brushes. But not so much the eye palettes. I've heard a lot of people say that they are no good. Like, I haven't tried one myself personally. But they just say it's not really worth it. I've heard that so many times now that it just scares me away from buying a Morphe palette. But I've heard these brushes are great. So I'm really pumped to try them out. So we've got an eyeliner brush, I believe. Doesn't say on. It says oval shadow brush, pro Firm blending crease brush, tapered mini blender brush, angled liner brush. Yeah, so this is the angled liner brush. Very nice. Ooh, feels really nice. I like that it's thin too. I might use this more than I do my Moda Pro. And then we've got, I think this is the crease brush. I want to say this is the crease brush. Firm blending crease brush, which also feels really nice. Yeah. And this would be probably blending. Yes, I'm assuming this is the blending one. Tapered mini blender brush, yeah. And that's what that one looks like. And last one, we have got the oval shadow brush. Very nice. This is what it looks like. Awesome, I'm super pumped. I can't wait to try these out. All right, next item I see is my choice item, which is a Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer. Super pumped for this. I've been using the mini one that I got. I want to see top box. Yeah, I think I got it in my top box. Ooh, don't quote me on that. I'm not positive. But I've been enjoying that, so I can't wait to enjoy this. And it's just a cream. I don't want to open it yet because I'm not done with the mini. Uh, but it's just a nice cream. doesn't smell. It feels really hydrating on my face. And yeah. Overall, so far, I really like this cream. So, moving on to the next item I see. Ooh, Butter London. Teddy Boy, I've seen this on the Facebook page. A lot of people are selling it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something caught in my throat. Um, but I don't think I'll be selling this one. I absolutely love the colors. We've got browns, blues, pinks. Oh, my goodness. Check those out. The inside is looking good, darling. <laughs> I like it. I like Butter London. I have another one over here that I got, I believe, in a boxy box too a while ago. I'm super pumped. Let's um, swap some of the colors. I want to do the mix. This, it's like a, oh yeah, dark blue, sparkle. Definitely have to build this one. It goes on kind of light, but that's the blue. How about this middle one? It's called Billy. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Check that color out. Oh, I cannot wait to put those two together. And I want to test Simon, which is like a 
brownish color. Oh, it's like a lilac color. I don't know. I can't figure it out. But this is the other one I just watched. Very light. Super pretty. Super excited for this palette. I cannot wait to test it out. All about makeup lately. I know for a while there I was really lacking with putting on makeup and just general depression you know you just didn't want to do anything and i was really into that but lately lately i've been back into it and do my makeup like almost every day actually no it's every other day to be honest it, it is every other day i do my makeup now a shower i do my makeup wash my hair all that fun stuff all right super pumped for this palette and try them out with the new brushes Woohoo! all right next product i see is Thank Me Later, ooh, eyeshadow primer, Elizabeth Mott. Never heard of this. But, always looking for a new primer. Especially eye, I think I only have one eye primer. And I haven't been using it lately. This is what it looks like, it's just, um, it looks pink. Thank Me Later. What do we got? What does it come out like? Oh, just like a pink gel. Cool. Or actually not gel. It's a light pink cream. That's the word I'm thinking of. My goodness. All right. Last product I'm really excited about actually. Oh, it's a brow gel. I have not tried any milk products yet. And that's why I'm really excited. But this one is a brow gel in the color grind. It says do something dope for your brows. <laughs> High brow tinted heart shaped fibers thicken brows for long lasting fullness shaped definition. Ooh, that sounds amazing. So here is a little tube. It's in grind. Hopefully, it's not too dark for me. No, not too bad. Awesome. So little tiny, little little tiny one. Super cute. Super pumped to try this out too. I'm always excited. I hadn't been into really trying new products. I was kind of stuck in not wanting to do anything. And then when I got back into it, I was like, eh, whatever. But now I feel like I'm more back into wanting to try new products. So I'm super pumped to try all these out. And I will definitely let you know my opinions on them. All right, now let's get into exactly how much each product was worth. And then we can add it up and see what the total of the box comes to. So for our first item, we'll... Do the Glam Glow uh, Moisture Trip is worth $54. That's not surprising. Glam Glow is a little bit expensive, but it is amazing skincare. And then we've got the Butter London, which is worth $28. Milk Makeup, where did you go? Right here, is worth $20. Oh, the brush set. Oh, I got this is actually only $12. That's shocking. I thought it was going to be way more expensive than that. And then the last item is the primer, which is worth $20. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly add this up, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so the box I said I was usually uh, worth 100 and I think it was 20 or 25 This month, the box is worth 134 which is even over the price. And, I'm, like, I'm not complaining. This already covers pretty much what I paid for the box, and the rest is, like, free free product to try pretty much for me so I'm not complaining but that is everything I have for you today thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you have a great evening bye